this. <laughs> okay. Thanks. It's just going to be all Pee Wee references today. I know you're looking for another Pee Wee's Big Adventure gif. <laughs> God damn it. I'll find my own Pee Wee gif. <laughs> there. That doesn't mean anything in this situation. Oh, we have to go back to Heaven Song now. Ew. Heaven Song is where my trauma of this game first started. Mine was seeing you play abysmally. <laughs> I recently edited the video where you like were. It was when I like walked out as the kids in front of like five different things that could all kill me if they attacked at once. And you're like, <laughs> "Why did you do that, Nick?" I was like, "What do you mean? It's fine." And you're like, "There's a golem there." It's like, "Oh, it's just one golem." And then you're like, there's the mage and the harpies and the trebuchet. And I was like, uh oh, oh, this was a bad idea. Expect that to happen today, too, because I'm going to be fucking dumb. You ever win the lottery? No. You ever play the lottery? Uh, actually, no, except for Genshin. But no, I've never actually done real lottery. Not just gets it every now and then. So I just get it every now and then. Mm hmm. And I want fifty dollars. Hey, that's nice. That's like a good a little dinner you could get yourself. Uh, well, you and someone else. Like. Fifty dollars spent at one place would be pretty hard for one person. Unless oh, it's up and up establishment. Yeah, no. Um, I've had a lot of friends that play the lottery, but they never really get anything. So I'm just like, I already have enough vices. <laughs> I have to deal with my alcoholism, my my Genshin Impact gambling. I don't need to add uh, fucking Do you lottery. Drink that much? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Is problem? Is this <laughs> <laughs> no, but everyone says I do. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, yeah, fuck I'm that. Wrong. I, I, I drink a normal amount. I need to drink right now, actually. No, no, I just do enjoy drinking, but not to get, like, shwasted, just to get, like, a little, like, tipsy. Um, although, recently, when we had um, um, a beach party, I got some, like, I wanted to try a new drink, so I got, like, a lime vodka, and it just tasted like lime rind. And I was, this is terrible. And then everyone else's drink I tried also tasted terrible. And I found out that I think I'm just like a fucking weeb even in my alcoholism where I can only drink sake or uh, a cake and plum wine. <laughs> or White Claws, <laughs> but that's not an improvement. <laughs> Although I prefer the Har Seltzer Topo Chico's. Those ones are much nicer. Also, I'm skipping through all the dialogue since we've seen it before. <laughs> oh wait, you can just skip the whole last thing by holding the right mouse. Wow. So we remember what we have to do here, right? Oh, I remember this, yeah. Yeah. We have to get the bombs. We have to get all the way over there. I'm trying... There was like one part of the wall that... I remember we were thinking, because we, we went through one hole and it was like, that was a bad idea. We should try the other one. But I don't remember which one it was. I want to say it was like up top. But then the ballista's right there, so that's not that great either. Uh, you can get it with cavalry, though. Let's see. So we just have to like, break through the walls. Yeah, we got to get and all the way over there. We just have to defeat the commander of this one? Uh, How do you check objectives again? Mission, here we go. Uh, Codex? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that didn't help me at all, actually. Yeah. Overview. Find a way to breach for the walls. Okay, destroy the stronghold or destroy Ryota. So, that's... Uh, those are still both pretty hard to do. But I feel like at this point we've gotten much better at the game. I feel like we can, uh, we can do an objective like that. Oh... And those catapults were the other thing that fucked us over when we were uh, up there. Yeah, I went in and just, like, <laughs> got crit. <laughs> yeah, the commander got fucking blasted. Oh, no, is it going to do this every time? I got, like, a notification. It was like, a turn is waiting for you. It's like, if it does that all the time, I'm going to be annoyed as foot. Actually, let's get the rest. Never mind, I'm not going to go on. fast after all. What's up? I'm getting ads for lottery shit that we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> now they know. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. That's weird. Like, I've had that happen so many times where I, like, mention something vocally, and then I start getting the ads for it, and I'm like, that's a little that's too... Yeah. yeah, right? So it is, like, a thing. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, I hate that. Google is always listening. I hate that. That's so... It's, I guess, not really so much obnoxious as it is just creepy, but it's annoying to me because then every time I see it, it's like I lose interest in that ad. Do you hear that, Google? I lose interest. Your marketing isn't working on me. They're going to be like advertising people now where you're going to go out in public and they're going to be actors <laughs> raving about the products that you were talking about. You know, that actually... Like, subliminally, like... Like, oh, that, that sounds like they're having a good time with that. I'm on it now. That actually would work better on me. Because, yeah. like, anytime I see, like, an article or, like, either, like, an article or just the advertisement pop up, like, it just annoys me. Commercials annoy the fuck out of me. Uh, recently, YouTube made it where, like, if you have an ad block blocker on, they will stop you from being able to watch videos unless you either turn off the ad blocker or you subscribe to YouTube Red. Uh, yeah. That annoyed the fuck out of me, but I'm, I'm not going to fucking subscribe to YouTube Red. But now I have to deal with the annoying advertisements that are always going through there. It's it's weird. I don't know why you they go with the idea of, like, we're going to advertise to get people to purchase our product, but then they make it the most annoying thing imaginable. It's more in service to YouTube Red than it is to the actual advertiser. Although I guess YouTube is paying them for doing the advertisement so i guess it works out in the end either way i don't really know i don't know how the whole sponsorship train works what i've noticed too is i usually refresh the video just to like skip the ad oh does that play, work? play it for like 10 seconds and then they put the ad anyways within 10 seconds oh shit that's lame I I was like as long as I can skip the ad, even if it's those six second ads, if they don't let me skip it, I'm like immediately feral. Uh, but I got hit with an ad recently that's like I had to sit through 15 seconds of it, like it wouldn't let me skip it. And of course, I just mute my computer at that point and leave because I don't even want to look at it. It angers me so much. I'm just easily annoyed is the problem. Same with like clickbait articles. Like I oh, hold on. Let me go through some clickbait articles and just see how mad I get, like, or how quick I get mad. With Witcher, Liam Hemsworth is taking a page out of Henry Cavill's playbook. It's stuff like that where it's like, well, I, do, I don't care. Why do I care about this? I mean, I don't, obviously. You can tell by how mad I'm getting at it. Obviously, I don't care. I don't Did know. You see, like the recent news about Godzilla and like the sexual implications of the design. <laughs> Wait, I thought you, I thought you were gonna say about how they're doing a TV series. What are you? T what sexual implications? Mm -hmm. like, no the fucking way. The original suit was like heavily into BDSM, <laughs> and when. <laughs> I'm not believing you. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> I won't that, believe. He would wear it inside the suit. <laughs> he wear like leather straps around his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> All of course to enhance the experience of why nuclear warfare is bad. That's why that the person who wore the suit wore so many movies. <laughs> He was really into it. It was especially sad when he died in the suit. <laughs> yeah, with the grin on his face. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now, I would never be able to look at Godzilla movies the same ever again <laughs> if that were true. Yeah. Come on, Wolfer! Hell yeah. They didn't even get their, uh, their crit bonus. See, now we know like how we know what everything crits off of, so we can stop it. It's like it's an easy game now. Those archers had to move, so they didn't crit. Oh, they're focusing. <laughs> they're focusing wolf far down. First problem, of course, is gonna just be figuring out how to deal with those catapults. I'm thinking I can clear up the northern shore with um it depends on the range of a cannon ship, but I think I could do that. Cause a cannon can shoot at the trebuchet, but I don't think a trebuchet can shoot at a ship. I have nothing to base that off of, but I'm just going to assume it's right. What would I have to do to riz you up, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Answer the question. Is, ah. that, is that from, like, Charisma? Yeah. Is that why it's his riz? Yeah. When did... I don't think kids knew the word Charisma. I don't think they started that. Uh, no, but I, I think, like, young, since D&D's become more popular, I think it was, like, a teenager thing. Like, I think y uh, young adults came up with it. 
That's my that's my guess. Uh, I guess I'll just shoot this from a distance. But yeah, no, Riz comes from Charisma. I also did not know that, because I'm old and decrepit. I had to wait for somebody else to find that out for me. But yeah, no, what would I have to do? <laughs> what would I have to do to Riz you up? Can Speak I? Japanese. Oh. Oh, hi, Okozaimas. <laughs> I'm going to visit Japan, and I'm wondering how well... Uh, how much... Like how attractive foreigners are. Is it mm. easy to get a Japanese girlfriend as a foreign man? <laughs> I actually saw like a, probably 30 seconds of a video that was uh, regarding the same subject. It's like how do Japanese feel about uh, foreigners? And they asked like a whole bunch of people. Um, the problem was, is like, oh, that thief is. Oh, he's still alive. He's fine. But yeah, the problem was that the, the foreigners. Um, or, like, the people they were asking uh, was, like, a whole range of different people. I was watching it as, like, the YouTube preview when I was on my phone at work, and then I had to go somewhere so I didn't actually get the conclusion for the video. So it was just a bunch of people starting to say what they th were thinking, and then it cut out. And I was like, well, that's all I really need. Damn, you've cleared out that whole area now. You know what? Their cavalry might even just try to go and take back the stronghold you took from them. Mm-hmm. That was my plan. Mmm. That's some good thinking there. <laughs> oh, I could feel that um, almost. When they were, like, filming Godzilla, they had to really be quiet on the set. They, like, really forced them to be quiet on the set because the... <laughs> <laughs> the actor that was playing Godzilla, he would keep screaming. <laughs> what would he scream? Fire! <laughs> motto! Motri motto! More! <laughs> you know, to keep him quiet, they put a ball gag in his mouth. And every time, like, another monster would, like, punch him or whip him, you could kind of hear a whimper. God, Godzilla has changed. <laughs> Did you will it? Uh, I had the dialogue on. Oh. You know, I'm immersing myself. <laughs> I'm really feeling like I'm there in the game. Uh, oh. Really me. <laughs> I am Wolfar. Um, hmm. I don't really want to walk too far into like the rest of their range. How far? Oh, yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, if I just stay where I'm at, their mage won't be able to reach me to attack. But if I do move, then I'm in trouble. Yeah, let's just stay here. Uh, Yeah, actually, no, if I don't move, I'm at the advantage. Fuck yeah, let's go. And, oh wait, actually, I should put somebody in the house. Uh, Mage, you take it. Capture! Now I can make money so I can heal my units. And turn. Let's see what... What's what's this bitch gonna do, Ryota? Oh, that's right. They have a sky tower. They can summon things. What do we got? Hmm. I don't remember if that was a problem before of them like summoning uh, flying oh, the units. Sky tower is great. No, they have one down there uh, by their stronghold. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're right. Do you know what? It might be a little early to say this, but this might be the first stage that we get an A rating on. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, we haven't had anybody die yet. It's the time that matters. We're going as fast as we can. <laughs> what more could we do? I think we're doing great. That's what separates you from a Mexican and a Mexican. <laughs> Besides the fact that I'm not Mexican, I'm a plain old white. Did you ever see that movie? Uh, yeah. Did I tell you the story with my dad in that movie? What movie? Um, Machete. 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 No. Uh, my dad... Oh. Oh, that's right. That is from Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Never mind. Um... No, my, I, I, yeah, I, I don't have any special stories about Once Upon a Time in Mexico, except that I was freaked out when they took Johnny Depp's eyes. I really fucking weirded me out. But yeah, um, in Mach my dad's in Machete. M my, God, God damn it, I can't say it right. Otherwise, I feel cringy. He's in Machete. Yeah, 
He's uh he, like as in it as you can be when your arm is like in a movie and you're like pumping your fist in the air. Uh, my dad's old station wagon is in like the final scene of the movie where like they get the whole gang together. Uh, there's like all the cars driving up. One of the cars is my dad's, and he's like waving his fist in the air. My, I can go by MDP if he's not. Sure, he's lie. <laughs> You're right. I should have just known better than to lie about that. My dad wasn't in it because IMDb didn't say so. It's true. I swear. I mean, it is. My dad is in it. My dad. My. <laughs> My dad also uh, met Johnny Depp with my mom, which is also true, but I have no way to prove it. <laughs> Just trust me, bro. Alright, that was a good turn. We are fucking wiping the floor with them. The nice thing about up here is they can't summon more people to fight. Hey, <laughs> fucking idiot, why are you attacking my <laughs> village? Oh my god. Well, that solved the problem of how I was going to deal with that guy. I forget, if you drop somebody off with, like, a transport boat or a wagon, do they move? What? Whoa! What, I wasted it! <laughs> what happened? Oh, did you... You can only use it on the one... Like, the certain walls. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just the wall. The no, hell? no, no. You see how, like, I some... I see now that it's, like, a little bit folded, but... <laughs> <laughs> that is a shame. Now I have to go through the hard way. Uh, I, I mean, I once I get a transport boat, we can just like ferry you across. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I hate how red his nose is. He looks like some weird clown. A weird normal skin cow clown. <laughs> no, <laughs> he just was thinking. Oh, speaking of things that look weird when they're normal skin, um, in Baldur's Gate, have you seen a half orc with the normal like skin color of a human? No. Here, let me let me send you a picture. There's something just unsettling about it. To me. <laughs> I guess it's the dust and the jawline. But yeah, she's a beautiful lady. <laughs> I also made a. I didn't take a screenshot of my uh, other character I'm playing with, my brother, uh, but he's also a normal skinned half orc, and he's got freckles, and he's bald, and he's just really weird to look at. It's like Uncanny Valley, but for people that you th are like, I expect them to be green. Uh, shit. I kind of was hoping these guys would move over here as well. I guess I will have to start by blowing up their fucking house. Just build up the defensive line over here, I guess. I could do a heal. Oh, I have 790 gold already? Oh, shit, then yeah, I'm doing a heal. There we go. Oh, I don't... Oh, I really mis <laughs> misread that. Oops, oh well. Alright, now their units are going to start moving towards me. The golem is the only real problem, though. If I can land the fire right... That would work. Because the fire does a sh... Like, it just insta-kills units, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hey, they started moving towards you. That's great. Oh, and he built more birds. Burp. Burp. Oh, he did build more birds. Yeah. I, just them. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he could use them against uh, their units. Oh, you know what I can do with the golem? What? I can have it focus on attacking the village if I position my units correctly. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll lose a bill. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I don't own that village yet. That's the problem. Oops. Didn't think that through. Well, it's still a plan. I just have to move some of my units backwards a little bit to be out of its attack range. Get in there, Wolfar, you motherfucker. God damn. Wolfar do be fucking his mother. Oh no. Is that... I guess he can only take two hits total from this, but... Will he be okay? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess the Ballista's not gonna crit. And worse is, like... Hit him. The Ballista? He's in range of the Ballista. to air. But I thought I've seen it shoot people before. You thought. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I did only think... <laughs> 
I don't know. I'm still worried, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. He can move there. He can move there. Okay, it's all the same movement. Oh no, I can't move far enough away. Okay, new plan. I. Uh, okay. We'll finish the building off, and then I'll kidnap it. <laughs> And then they'll feel obligated to attack the village before attacking me. <laughs> this isn't all according to plan. Okay, let's see how this goes. I've got crit out the ass over there with all those spearmen, so it'll do something. Eh, why'd you go for the kids, you shit? <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not what I expected at all. <laughs> There we go. Okay, actually, this is probably... This might be for the best. He's not going to move those fighters? That's weird. Huh. Yeah, I guess you're right with the ballista. It is only ground to air. I thought I'd saw it sh uh, shoot people before, but... Maybe I'm stupid. Oh, oh it's for... Never mind, it's for trebuchet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. The, it does hit people. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> is Wolfar is Wolfar gonna be okay with? Oh, he's just out of range of the uh, trebuchet. Nice. Ask me. <laughs> is he gonna be okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> he can still get shot by the ballista. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take it. I still believe in you. You could get marksman down here. Uh, oh, that's right, there's a hideout there. Wow, the first time we played through here, I really misunderstood what I could do. Yeah, let me get some marksmen. I can even shoot from, like, the other side of the wall, I bet. Good job, spearmen. Then I'll finish this off. Kiaw. There we go, golem down. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Spearman will move up here. Uh, just how effective are wizards against spears? Let's see, soldier, archer... Oh, actually, they're not super effective against spearmen, oddly enough. But they're also... Damn, spearmen aren't resistant to them is the problem. Okay... I guess I'll take this back in the meanwhile. <laughs> Maybe that'll draw the wizard's aggro. Um, I only have 390 gold. How much? Oh. Oh, I actually can't use that hideout for some reason. Mm -hmm. I guess I can't. Okay. We'll worry about riflemen another day. Would you move Wolfar one tile to the left? Why? Uh, it... <laughs> Very much so, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's how we will die. Well, it's playing with the baby <laughs> <laughs> you're in range for a critical strike from the cavalry and what the ballista what if they don't what if they, what if they <laughs> decide not to uh-huh aggro <laughs> no you okay <laughs> but still wouldn't you want to guarantee because what if they just use the dog to kill the thief <laughs> two thieves that'll do it Look, you can't get past it now. It's fine. <laughs> You're right, actually. Okay. You're and still in I range. Would, I would put this right here. So you can't get past it. There's a, like a diagonal line, you know? The ballista's still gonna shoot Wolfar. Although I guess it only did 10% damage, so it's not terrible. I'll move one to the right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll do it. I did it because I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> as long as you wanted to, that's fine. And, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I just sweeped up here. Swept, I guess, would be better to say. That's all that we did. Yeah! Capture. Then, yeah, fuck, just go forward and capture the rest of this. Woo! Uh, let's see. If I move this guy here, what am I able to... Oh, oh, I wanted to see what I'd be able to shoot. <laughs> oh, oh, my the God. Thief. Wait, did you have a third thief? No. 
Wasn't a thief just targeted by a trebuchet? Yeah. How did he survive? <laughs> oh, <he's> just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, they're going for the wagon. No, but that's a good tank weapon. Wow. There. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the thief can go in and just steal this. Holy shit. I can't believe that worked as well as it did. <laughs> And what's that mage going to do? Kill the thief or capture the stronghold again? Oh! The <laughs> 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 fucking idiots! Ooh, oh, oh <laughs> no. This, this kill a dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did it do anything? Yeah, it five damage. Okay, that's not bad. Heaven Song stands against you. Okay. Oh shit, he's got his war groove ready. I bet his is actually useful on like the last four war grooves we saw. <laughs> oh, it's kind of unsettling that the commanders deal 100% damage against villagers. <laughs> Fucking murder them. Um, alright, I guess I'll start by capturing their sky fortress. <laughs> we got a tower! We can send you harpies. <laughs> Sorry. Not harpies, herpes. <laughs> I didn't say it was our herpes. <laughs> they just have some uh, chilling down there. Oh, here we go. Watch this. Hey, look at this bitch. <laughs> Get fucked. There, now you don't have to worry about <laughs> the wizard attacking anybody. What's he gonna do? God, you need a maze or something to heal Wolfar. He's scaring me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> you and that dog are neck and neck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he got a dragon. My fucking god. <laughs> it's like Game of Thrones. Dragon! No, thief! All that money is gone forever. Actually, I guess you have the trebuchets there backing yourself up. Yeah, everyone that comes through that wall is about to get fucking blasted. Ass blasted. <laughs> oh no, why would you say that to a dog? Let's see, how long till the dragon's a problem? Two turns until the dragon is a problem. Ah, oh, their dragon's lame, it's just a wooden puppet. I thought it was like a cool armored dragon. Do you or... think that soldier can kill Wolfar? <laughs> no. Uh, hmm. I don't. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> They're so weak. But I don't want to risk it. <laughs> They're only effective against thieves, archers, and riflemen. Yeah, okay, hit him so he's not gonna kill me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Now we got boats. Hell yeah, I got the warship. Okay, Ugh, I can't reach any of these villages. I need the money. I'm a broke-ass bitch. Just move everybody into position. Anything new I can shoot? Oh, damn. I got excited because for a moment I was like, oh, I could maybe shoot the... Oh, actually. If I move here, I could start shooting their ballista. Would I be able to shoot their trebuchet? Eh, I won't worry about the trebuchet so far. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, fuck. I don't have enough money to summon anything. God, witches cost 800? Damn, expensive. I need more money. Okay. Yes. Should be. F oh, I didn't even consider this. What if the dragon comes for me? Oh, no. <laughs> That's all I got. Let's see what they do. I don't know if I'm still a target for them, though. You're a target for me. Oh. Got you in the crosshairs. You're looking pretty good. Oh, no. 